Welcome to our tutorial. In this video, we will show you how to install and set up the RPS 1600 Central Office equipment. We will install the management side controller PSM 1001 and the upconverter PSC 1600. We use a 19 inch rack with a 48 volt DC power supply. The installation is similar to an Etsy rack. For the installation, we will need two screwdrivers a small flathead screwdriver and a PH1 Phillips screwdriver. For the mounting of the PSM, we will need the PSM 19 inch mounting kit. It contains four cage nuts and corresponding screws, two mounting brackets, four mounting screws, and a power cable. The PSC 19 inch mounting kit is quite similar. It contains the cage nuts and corresponding screws, two mounting brackets, four mounting screws, a serial interconnection cable, and a power cable. All devices have grounding terminals on the back side that can be used if neither the rack nor the power supply is grounded. The grounding is always mandatory. In the first step, we prepare the rack by placing the cage nuts in the right position. We recommend to mount the nuts for the PSM at the top and horizontally. That gives them room to move vertically. The cage nuts for the PSC should be placed at least half of a height unit away from the lowest PSM nut. To resolve the measurement, swiftly use your thumb, which is roughly about half of a height unit wide. The PSC cage nuts should be placed 1.25 height units away from each other. Please pay attention to place them vertically, which will allow them to move horizontally. In the next step, we attach the mounting brackets starting with the PSM. The long side has to be in line with the device's front. To simplify the tightening of the screws, insert the screw into the bracket while holding it. Then you have both hands free for the second screw. Finally, check both screws again. Now install the PSM in the rack at the high position and tighten all four M6 screws. For the PSC, attaching of the mounting brackets is done in the same way as for the PSM. The slot faces the rack, the screw holes face the device. Again, it helps to insert the screws into the bracket prior to attaching the bracket. Double check the screws. Install the PSC into the rack and leave at least half of a height unit or 2.2 cm between the PSM and the PSC for ventilation. Now we can interconnect the serial management bus. The cable has a male and a female end. The male end goes into the bus M port of the PSM and the female end goes into the lower bus S port of the PSC. Watch out for the alarm port, which has the same port connector. Secure the cable by locking all four screws. The last step to make the devices ready for operation is to set up the local management address of the PSC. It has a low and a high switch. Please choose a unique number between 01 and FE for the PSC. The address of the PSM should always remain 00. That is the configuration as delivered. In the last step, we set up the power supply of the devices. Because our rack is grounded and the power supply unit uses a third pin for grounding as well, no additional grounding is required. Finally, connect the power cables and lock the screws. If everything is connected properly, the power supply can now be switched on. The devices will boot immediately as they do not have a power switch. While booting, the NMS light of the PSM will flash orange. A green VB1 LED indicates that the power supply is working correctly. After booting, the MS LED on the PSM lights up green, indicating the master status in the serial management bus. The bus LEDs on both devices flash green from time to time, indicating a stable connection. Congratulations, you have the remote powering system up and running.